Hello, my beautiful souls, and welcome. Welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. My name is Kelsey, aka the Empress, and today we are back with another pick a card reading, and we are looking at messages and manifestations. Okay, so we are going to look at a message from your spirit team as well as what is manifesting for you, what is coming your way. So in front of you here on the screen, we have three different images to choose from, um, and I'm going to ask you guys to take a deep breath, really ground yourself, connect to your intuition, connect to your spirit team, and ask which one of these three images is going to be holding the messages and manifestations that are meant for you at the time that you find yourself at this video. Uh, and I will have the timestamps to the beginning of each reading in the description box below as well as in the pinned comment. So go ahead, take your time, pause the video if you still need a moment to meditate on these images, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to group number one. Hello, my beautiful group number one. Those of you that chose image number one, this reading is for you, and we are looking at messages and manifestations. Um, so group number one, coming into your reading, tuning into this energy, um, the initial kind of imprint that I got here was a lot of, I want to say air energy, but a lot of mental energy, crown chakra energy. Um, so I feel like your spirit team is really um, directing me towards like the upper chakras, but specifically the crown chakra and your ability to communicate like, like there's a need to communicate or connect to your spirituality or to connect to your guides um, connect to prayer connect to the divine whatever that means for you meditation may be very very powerful for you at the time that you find yourself at this video um, you know just sitting down and maybe putting on some kind of music in the background that helps you really get into that mindset maybe shamanic drums or um i i'm partial to the cello um but whatever works for you and just ask your spirit team to connect with you to allow you to you know communicate to to ask what they're trying to tell you okay uh, but let's go ahead and I'm going to start with the tarot group number one and we're going to take a look at the, the message that your spirit team has for you right now and then we'll get into your manifestations after that. Okay, so group number one, tuning into your spirit team. What does group number one spirit team want to say to you today? So we have the eight of swords coming out and this one came out very quickly. <laughs> um... So I do feel like group number one, your spirit team is wanting to bring attention to the fact that there's, um, there's something here about like there's, there's some sort of excuse um, in the way. There, there's something here where it's like you, you're really wanting something or you're desiring something or someone you know, this is going to be different for everybody. Um, but you're convincing yourself that you can't have it in some way, shape, or form. Um, so there's definitely, again, that mental energy coming through here with the swords um, and your belief system and the way you view... your reality, really. Um, I feel like you have some very deep-rooted subconscious kind of beliefs that dictate what you allow yourself to have, what you don't allow yourself to have, what you allow yourself to participate in, and what opportunities you allow yourself to grasp. So there's something here where your spirit team group number one is really wanting you to recognize that you are the only thing that's in your way right now um there's something that you're truly desiring and something that you're truly meant to have but you're convincing yourself that you can't have it because you don't have enough time or you don't have enough money or you know 
you don't have enough education. So there is a message here from your spirit team as well, group number one, to be sure to allow yourself to start at the beginning. Don't expect yourself to step into something brand new, something that you've never done before and, and be a complete and total expert at it. I feel like that may be something that's really holding you back. Like, because you're not an expert at something, you're not allowing yourself to start. Um, interesting. So let's see what else. Group number one. Tuning into the spirit team of group number one. Ancestors, angels, guides. For group number one, what messages do you have? Are my souls tuning into this group? We have the Six of Swords coming out in reverse. Yeah, there's a feeling of being very stuck here. Group number one. Feeling very stuck, but... The reason you're feeling stuck is because you're telling yourself that you aren't able to move forward. Um, you know, and for everybody here, the reason why you're telling yourself you can't move forward is going to be different. You know, I have too many responsibilities or I don't know how or I don't have enough time or I don't have enough money or I don't know what I'm doing or what if I'm wrong or what if I fail. Um, however, that comes through for you. But your spirit team really is pushing the fact that you are able to move. If you just allow yourself to go against this kind of idea that you won't make it, okay? Your spirit team really wants you to move towards this. Um, you know, and even if you don't get to the, the final outcome that you're imagining right now, this journey is going to take you somewhere that you need to be. And that's why your spirit team is really wanting you to take that leap to take that risk whatever that is even though you don't believe you're going to make it you're even though you don't believe you're going to succeed because the only way we can really really change our belief systems as well is to you know do what we thought we couldn't So there is a huge emphasis on trusting and having faith here as well, group number one, especially with that crown chakra energy that I was picking up on in the beginning of your read, tuning into this energy. Like there's a huge need to trust spirit, to trust the signs you're being given, to trust the messages you're being given, to trust the direction you're being led in instead of fighting against it um, or in fighting against your intuition, fighting against your own ideas. I feel like group number one, some of you guys have these ideas. You're like very, abundant, I guess is the word in ideas and imagination, but you don't allow yourself to take action on those thoughts or those ideas. And your spirit team is saying, you know, take action on those ideas. Your imagination isn't just, you know, fairy tales, if you will. It's not just imaginary. <laughs> you know, we think of like imaginary friends and we think of our imagination as something that isn't real, something that isn't tangible, something that doesn't exist, essentially, like believing in something that doesn't exist. And your spirit team is wanting you to maybe work on shifting your perception of that because our imagination brings forth so many abundant ideas and ways to create and to problem solve and to view your world from a different perspective. And there's so much value in that. And you're really being asked to kind of search for the value in that instead of telling yourself that it's just a ridiculous thought or you know however that might come through okay so let's go ahead group number one and take a look at your manifestations 
what is group number one manifesting what is coming towards group number one at the time that they find themselves at this video we have clarity clearing your mind brings you closer to your sacred inner wisdom so that's super important for you guys group number one super important clarity um i feel like there's a lot of confusion going on um, because you aren't trusting you aren't allowing yourself to go after the things you truly desire you aren't allowing yourself to act on the ideas that you have and it's causing a lot of confusion a lot of stagnancy a lot of feeling very stuck because it's almost like all of these other doors are being closed around you and this one open door is the door that you've told yourself you can't go through because it's a waste of your time or whatever it is that you're telling yourself so clarity is definitely coming your way let's go ahead and pull some more cards here i have the tea leaf cards all in a bag here and I'm just shaking it up um, and I'm gonna pull a few out for group number one we have axe forces working against you we have bag something important such as a new job or a raise and we have a broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So group number one, I feel like this is kind of the storyline here for you in regards to this manifestation or this kind of, uh, I feel like this is like a money bag that you're working towards. So I do feel like there is something of value, um, tangible value coming towards you. And that's going to be different for everybody, but it could be money. It could be a job. It could be a new car or a new home um, but I do feel that coming towards you but it's not going to come towards you until you have a clearer vision of where you're going to move from here um, so with this axe here these forces working against you I do really feel like that has a lot to do with kind of this belief um, system that you can't have what you want and as well as the broken bridge, I feel like because you've convinced yourself that you can't have what you want because you're blindfolded to the f fact that there is a way out, you just feel like that way out isn't going to take you there. It's, it's definitely causing like this disconnect from where you're meant to go, right? It's causing you to be on one side of the bridge when you really want to be on the other side of the bridge. But there is a way to fix the bridge, right? There is a way to, you know, almost even like jumping over this hole here, like taking that leap of faith and trusting that you will land on the other side. Um, as well as I am hearing for some of you guys, there are some circumstances within your life or even other people in your life that are holding you back. I'm hearing um, like burning bridges. There's a need to disconnect yourself from certain energies that are keeping you from moving forward. And that's going to bring in a lot of clarity as well. So some of you guys, this clarity might come in for you in a way that causes you to realize how your environment or other people impact your reality. So this may be kind of like an, an awakening or a realization, enlightening that you're currently going through is like how deeply your environment impacts you, how deeply other people's perceptions and belief systems and ideas impact you. Um, and there's going to be a lot of rearranging in regards to that so that you can align. So really there's, there's alignment here happening for group number one and I absolutely love that for you okay there is alignment so I do feel like group number one if you're feeling very lost if you're feeling confused if you're feeling stuck there's a need to 
you know, journal or meditate and, and really kind of dive into what is actually holding you back. Is it something that you can work through? You know, is it something that you're telling yourself that you can't do? Why can't you do it? What do you need? What steps can you take to believe that you can do it? Um, you know, take a class or, um, you know, study, find a community of like-minded people and, and learn from them. Um, yeah. So, okay. Um, you are being aligned to success. You are being aligned to For some of you guys, it's a, it's like a job, but it's like you are being a lot, uh, aligned to like a higher vibrational reality, environment, living situation. And with that higher vibration, it's going to bring in more wealth and success and value to your life. And, and everybody perceives value differently. So that value that's going to come in is going to come in in different ways for everybody. But you are being aligned to a higher vibrational reality. And in that process, you are releasing things that are holding you down, lower vibrational environments, lower vibrational relationships. And so currently the stuck feeling has a lot to do with your own perception, but also there may be some sort of attachment that you have to somebody or something or somewhere that is keeping you from moving forward as well. You're telling yourself you can't leave it or you can't let go of it. So for some of you guys, that may need to be something that you explore as, as well. But this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful group number one. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this reading. Let me know what other kinds of readings you guys would like to see. Consider subscribing if you feel called to do so. I thank you guys so incredibly much for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, my beautiful group number two. Those of you that chose image number two here, this reading is for you and we are looking at messages and manifestations for you. So we're going to start off group number two with the tarot and we're going to get some messages from your spirit team and then we'll move into your manifestations, okay? So starting off, group number two, tuning into the energy of this reading and tuning into the energy of this group. I am getting a sense of division um, or parting something, separating something. So for some of you guys, this could be going your separate ways um, between you and somebody else. This could be leaving a job. This could be dividing your assets. This could be, um, you know, many different things for you guys, but there is a sense of division. And I feel like if you're experiencing that externally, group number two, there is something internally that is being divided as well. And I feel like that's a big part of the message here for you today is that you are dividing different aspects of yourself, um, different versions of yourself for some reason or another. Um, and, and your spirit team really wants to talk about that with you today, okay? Um, I'm going to just light this rosemary here real quick. I do feel like for some of my group number twos, doing some protection workings may be very beneficial. And I don't want like anybody to get scared or anything like that. Um, you know, there's nothing that is coming to harm you, but I do feel like you guys are very impacted by other people's energies. And you may have certain people around you at work or in your home um, due to circumstances that maybe you don't have any control over that really bring you down in some way, shape, or form. Not necessarily make you sad, but it's like they drain your energy or um, 
it, it just feels it feels very toxic and I feel like for some of you guys there's a need to like really protect your energy so that others can't feed off of it um you know even subconsciously so that others can't affect it really but let's go ahead and get into your tarot group number two tuning into the spirit team of group number two angels ancestors guides what message do you want to bring forth for group number two at this time okay so starting off we have the three of swords there's that separation division um, some of you guys may be viewing it as a loss um, it, it may be a loss um, it could be a breakup, it could be a divorce, it could be a division of assets, it could be a separation from a job, a workplace, a home, an environment. Um, you know, so many different things for different people here, but overall what I'm feeling is that whatever this is for you, may be very difficult, whether emotionally, mentally. I feel your stress levels being very high surrounding this group number two. And even if, you know, sometimes we go through um, separations or, or things that we know are in our best interest or that we initiated, it doesn't mean that there isn't a grieving process um, and a process of, you know, transmutation of that pain. So I do feel like for some of you guys, maybe you initiated this separation, whatever the separation was. You know, maybe you put your two weeks in. Maybe you're feeling guilty. Maybe you're feeling like you don't have the right to be sad about this separation because you were the one that wanted it. And your spirit team wants you to know that your emotions surrounding this are valid and they are real and you are allowed to have them. Even though for some reason you feel like you you aren't. We also have the Ten of Swords. Wow, group number two. I feel like group number two, what I what I just heard was like, I feel like I'm taking it from all angles. Um you guys may be feeling attacked. You may have um, you know, done something that you know is in your best interest and other people may be making you feel bad for that or, or making you feel ashamed for doing what is best for you because of the way it maybe impacts other people. And this may be very difficult for you and your spirit team really wants you to know that Although there is going to be a healing process and a grieving process for you going through this, you are on the right path and you are making the right decisions. But I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you're experiencing like this separation or this loss or whatever this was for you is exposing a lot of other energies to you that you didn't realize were what they are. Um, maybe you didn't realize that they were... I just really feel this sense of like somebody flipping on you, like somebody getting upset with you or lashing out at you because you want to move on or you want to do better. Okay. In the bottom of the deck, here we have the world. So whatever this was that that ended essentially did play its full course, group number 2, and there's a need for you to know that. It this was complete. This cycle did come to completion. You are making the right decision. Um So there's a, a big message here to not go back to what is already over. Don't go back to what's already over. 
don't go back to your old old ways don't go back to your old self it's time to start new the next card here is the fool it's time to start fresh it's time for a new adventure it's time for a new chapter it's time for a new you okay And your spirit team is really pushing, like, this, the fact that, like, you are allowed to have feelings surrounding this, okay? Somebody needs to know that. Somebody needs to hear that. Somebody needs to know that just because you know you have to move on or you have to move forward or you have to move away doesn't mean that you don't have to grieve, that you don't have to heal that this isn't hard for you as well. Interesting. Okay, group number two. So let's go ahead here and take a look at your manifestations. What is manifesting for you? What is coming your way that your spirit team wants you to know about right now? Okay. And I'm hearing, I'm, I'm seeing like a spider in a spider web and I'm hearing everything is connected. There's something here about interconnectivity. So that may be something that comes up for you as a sign, a message, a symbol, um, the spider or the spider web. I'm hearing don't get caught in that trap again. Don't get caught in that trap again, group number two. Interesting. What is manifesting for group number two? Intuition. The power of intuition will light your path, providing a connection to the divine. Um, so group number two, I do feel like um, you've spent a lot of time going against your own emotions, going against your own feelings, going against your own inner wisdom going against your intuition in order to please others or to keep others happy or to be accepted um I'm, i am feeling a lot of like jealousy around you i feel like there may be some of the people that are surrounding you are maybe very jealous of you of your energy there's just something here that just feels off essentially about your environment, whether that be the people, the place, the work, whatever it is. Um, and, and for a period of time, you've been going against that feeling. I feel like you guys know what that feeling is. You've been going against the fact that it doesn't feel good to you anymore, that you don't want to be there. Um, you really have been fighting like a war within yourself to try to keep the peace externally and um, your spirit team is saying that it's time to trust yourself and, and your intuition is going to lead you to bigger and better things, okay? You guys have a very strong intuition and it's really trying to manifest miracles is what I want to say. That's the word I want to use, manifest miracles for you. Um, but you have to allow it in instead of blocking it out to keep the peace externally. I hope that makes sense. So let's uh, pull a few more cards for you here. I have them, um, my tea leaf reading cards in this bag. And I'm just going to reach in and pull a few out for you, group number two, and uh, see what else your spirit team wants to say, okay? So our first one here is lobster financial pinch. So some of you guys may have stayed in this situation because... Of financial reasons whether it was in a relationship in an environment at a job because you needed that money because you needed that security that stability and so even though this separation or this division of property or finances or whatever it is might make things tight your spirit team really wants you to know that you will make it through okay we also have the ram a stubborn aggressive person yes there is somebody around you that is that 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 needs to be cut off from your energy 
this doesn't even necessarily mean that it has to be somebody that is, you know, in a romantic relationship with you or a friend. It could be a, a, an acquaintance at work. There's just somebody around you that is really radiating like this very jealous, stubborn, resentful, angry kind of energy. And for some reason, it's directed towards you. And there's a need like to protect yourself from that. Um, and it doesn't even have anything to do with you, I don't feel, group number two. I feel like it has a lot more to do with them and their own kind of being unhappy with their own life and, and kind of pushing that on to you. You may be experiencing a lot of people around you like that with this Ten of Swords here. Maybe really realizing like people's true colors around you. Interesting. We also have fire, strong emotion, passionate love, or hate. Yes. So I do feel like group number two, you guys are going through a bit of a purification in your life um, as well as internally. And your spirit team wants you to know that you are, you're manifesting these miracles, right? You're manifesting magic. You're manifesting very major windfalls for you is what I feel. But you have to allow yourself to trust yourself instead of listening to the words or the energies of other people. You guys may be kind of stuck in this energy of like somebody may have this attitude with you or maybe just kind of radiating this like negative energy and you may take that personally. Like, did I do something wrong? Are they mad at me? Um, and, and you may make it a point to try to fix that energy and your spirit team is saying, no, just protect yourself from that. Separate yourself from that energy and continue moving on, even though it may be very difficult for you, okay? It may be very difficult for you to separate yourself from that energy, but there is a need to acknowledge your own feelings, your own inner, inner self, instead of causing harm to your inner self in order to please others. Okay, group number two. So this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful souls that chose this pile. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose pile number two. Uh, consider subscribing if you feel called to do so, so you don't miss out when I post future videos like this. I thank you so incredibly much for joining me here today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello, my beautiful group number three. Those of you that chose image number three, this reading is for you, and we are looking at messages and manifestations uh, for you guys. So, group number three... Uh, we're going to start with your tarot and take a look at the message that your spirit team has for you. And then we'll move into what is manifesting for you, okay? So coming into your reading, as I was tuning into the energy of group number three, um, I was getting very sacral chakra vibes um, and, and the word pleasure. So I do feel like group number three, there is something very powerful in your desire. I feel like that may be a very powerful way for you to manifest. Um, as well as there's a major healing occurring in the sacral chakra for you guys. So this could be healing around your perception of money, of finances, of intimacy, um, and relationships, as well as, um, something surrounding like a mother. This could be very healing um, between you and, and your mother or mother figure or um, your own kind of mothering archetype within you. I feel like group number three, you guys are learning how to nurture yourself, learning how to maybe reparent yourself. Um, or coming into a time where you're going to be doing that.
Okay, so let's go ahead, group number three. I am also really, um, really picking up on the group number three being my group of witches, psychics, mediums, manifestors, um, tarot readers um, very strongly here so I do feel like with this healing or activation within the sacral chakra it is really going to amplify your your magic your spiritual gifts your manifestations um, but let's go ahead group number three and tune into your spirit team and see what the spirit team of the souls that chose pile number three has to say today. What does the spirit team for group number three want to say? What message do we have for group number three, please? Group number three, spirit team, angels, ancestors, and guides. So we have the hermit coming out in reverse. And we have the Two of Swords. Okay, um, this is very interesting because the Hermit in Reverse here is telling me that it's time to come out of your shell. It's time to allow yourself to be seen. It's time to maybe announce to the world, you know, who you truly are, what you truly believe in, um, what you truly want to do. Maybe announcing a a major life event, annou announcing. Um, a marriage or a, a pregnancy or a relationship um, but outside of that there is like an announcing of this is who I am this is what I believe in um, so some of you guys especially if you resonate with being you know my witches my psychics my mediums my diviners here in this group um, there may be something happening right now where you are being pushed out into the world to share those gifts um, with others, whereas before maybe you kept them very, very close, or you didn't tell a lot of people, um, or or maybe you did it from a very remote place. There's just something here where there is a need to expand your reach, um, whereas maybe previously there was a fear of what other people would think or say um, surrounding that for you. And with the Two of Swords here, I feel like your spirit team is saying that it doesn't matter what other people say. The Two of Swords, for me, um, can definitely come through saying, like, I need to cut out all other opinions, um, cutting out distractions, and not allowing other people's thoughts opinions beliefs to influence yours so there's something here where your spirit team group number three is coming through here saying it's time to put yourself out into the world but not allow the world to change you to not allow the world to change the decisions that you make or alter your perception um, you know keeping your vision very bright and very clear with this lantern that may be something that you're experiencing right now. You know, you may be experiencing a lot of backlash for the work that you do, for your beliefs, for the way that you live your life, regardless of, of how you're living your life, right? Regardless of what your beliefs are. You may be even having a lot of doubts. You know, did I go down the wrong path? You know, should I have listened to what they told me? Should I have, you know conformed and and lived the life that somebody else wanted me to live no your spirit team is saying absolutely not you are exactly where you need to be and and now you've reached a point in your journey where it's time to come out it's time to expand it's time to venture outside of this comfort zone that you have and allow others to see you without allowing others to change you without allowing others to impact you or make you feel ashamed of yourself or of what or who you are. Interesting. 
some of you guys are meant to, you know, use your gifts to create income in some way, shape, or form. Don't allow other people to tell you that you're wrong. Wow. So there's definitely a need for, for strength of will, a need for confidence, a need for believing in yourself, even though others may not. And to do what brings you pleasure, even though others may not agree with it or may not see it from your perspective, or may not understand it, or may even fear it for some of you guys. I am really strongly picking up on somebody here that may um, be being kind of guided to come out of the closet for something, to, to admit something, whether that be like your romantic preferences or whatever it might be for you but I, I am picking up on that too for somebody here okay so let's go ahead group number three and take a look at what is manifesting for you what is coming your way for group number three We have beauty. I love that. When beauty is felt from within, your gorgeousness will glow. So again, group number three, allow yourself to believe in your own light, your own beauty, to believe in yourself. Some of you guys, um, you know, like I brought up earlier, like, um, using your your pleasure to manifest or like sex magic could be very powerful for you or glamour magic um things like this some of you guys may even want to be some sort of artist or fashion designer makeup artist um you know anything like that i feel like could be very successful for you as well but allow others to see what you create, okay? Allow yourself to be seen. Allow your work to be seen, group number three. You are manifesting this beauty. You are manifesting attraction. This beauty card is really giving me like Venus vibes. Um, which is very magnetic, very, uh, very attractive, very abundant, very wealthy, right? Your value. Some of you guys need to raise your prices if you're already, um, you know, working on a business or, or doing something like this for income. There's a need to raise your prices. Some of you guys keep your prices low out of this idea that more people will come to you, but there's definitely something to be said about kind of the opposing factor. If you raise your prices, people are going to believe that they're getting something that's higher quality, right? Um, and I feel like that somebody here needs to hear that, like your, your value is higher than what you're charging. Wow. Well. All right, so let's pull a few tea leaf cards here for group number three and see what else we have for you. We have the bag, something important such as a new job or raise. Love it. Group number three, we have the rat with someone working against you or behind your back, which we kind of feel those vibes with this energy of like this message from your spirit team of like not allowing others to influence you, not allowing others to impact you or to 
force you back into, you know, the closet or back into the darkness or into solitude or whatever that may have been for you, okay? Um, so your spirit team really wants you to be aware of that. And we also have chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. And this chair filled here, I'm like really getting these vibes of like a, a salon chair. Like somebody coming in and sitting down and desiring your services. And because of that interaction, it's going to create some sort of partnership. I feel like you guys may have somebody come to you curious about your services and you may end up um, building a business with them in some way shape or form or a partnership in some way shape or form interesting so there's definitely beauty and success um, and a raise um, an increase in in income for sure manifesting for group number three and a person coming in um, for you guys and how this person comes in and the kind of connection that you have with this person is going to be different for everybody here because this is a general reading but there is a person coming in of great significance that is going to help you with this kind of increase I feel group number three okay so this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful souls that chose this pile if you resonated with this, if it brought you value, please hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Uh, comment down below. Let me know if you chose pile number three and consider subscribing so you don't miss out when I post future videos like this. I thank you guys so incredibly much for joining me here today and I will see you guys next time. Bye!